and welcome back to the second part so I'm going to start by clicking on this location I will use the location to decide the price of my property so let's double click on location but before then let's come right up here you see underneath uh, option explicit let's say deem RM RM is going to be an array let's make it maybe 7 as double there we go now back to location double click on this very location in there let me use an if statement to decide the option selected if location dot text oh, that should be either leave it like that if location dot text the text equals let's say Lagos and number underscore of room dot text equals one then I want the following to happen the cost dot text equals let's make that up one three six whatever that's the cost of the accommodation then deposit expected is going to be let's make that up to let's say 350 that is my deposit now okay. let's say electricity dot tax per month is 75 75 pounds now local local tax dot tax equals 124 pounds and water water bill dot tax equals so those are the utility bills plus the cost of rental or the cost of renting so let me give that a try and just see but before that I want to try and convert all of these here. I'm going to convert them to pound size. So right underneath here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of these. Let's paste it here and get rid of all of this. Let's enter pound sign here. So that is pound sign here. And that is going to be and that repeat the same thing for this one and that might give me okay let's come here change this to pound sign there we go it should be and in there and this as well Pound sign and finally water bill. We have the pound sign there as well. And there, the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I like to carry out some calculation, and with the pound sign, it might be an error. So, in here, one other thing I like to do is the variable that I declared up there, the array that is declared up there, RM, that's supposed to stand for room. I'm going to enter that in here. RM, the first part of the array is zero, equals what? It's, that's going to be the cost. Okay. 
what I'm going to do is just copy this and say equal space that in here. There we go. Then I will then speed up the rest anyway. I need about four more. There we go. So this is array one, array two, three, and four. And copy to replace. Those are all the arrays which I'm going to call it run. If you notice, the array is global so that I can call it within my calculation button right there. Paste and there we go. Right. So I will now go right inside my calculation button to work one or two things out. Okay, the next thing is let's go to the total so that we can add up all of these inside total. That is why it's a global array. So double click on the rental rent. Okay, the cost of rent. Maybe I should change that to cost of rent really. Or rent cost. Okay, so let's move that back a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Now double click on that right up here. I'm just gonna enter total as my text box total underscore payment dot text equals equals pound sign. M zero plus I'm gonna copy this copy come in here paste 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 and there close that so that is one two three and four there so if I run the system now and I select one Lagos. There we go. And if I click on cost of rent, there. Okay, that is fine. That's looking good. Let's say down payments from the customer is about that. All right. So let's continue. So I'm going to add, take care of the rest of this here. So let's come back in here. Double click on that this is for that so i will now copy this and that is supposed to be if the customer let's say else if so else if let's change this one to two and i'm going to just copy this paste it right underneath here okay change the condition right so we now change let's change the cost of everything here let's change it to round there and this one there that's for two bedroom so what i would do now is just to copy this and just speed it all up and i'll get back to you guys shortly okay guys I've completed the coding for the location so let me show it to you guys and see how it is this is for Lagos okay and when we bring it down we have Kenya there and let's go to London that is London there it's exactly the same lines of code apart from the different price and then finally we have Texas there okay and that's all there is to it okay so what I'm gonna do now is let's run this program and see how it looks like so there we 
event top customer reference and the name happens to be Paul Roman number of rooms to be rented and location is London if we click on that I give us the total then here we need the address free top right and N7 town is London and proof of ID and how much I intend to deposit there we go so all that is left for us now is when I click on this I intend to I would like to see the receipt as well so let's come in there and take care of the receipt exit yes okay let's double click on the rent course and here I have the receipts those are the lines of code for the receipts just need to maybe add let's add a line here underneath the receipt and increase add a tab in there another one here one more okay this is how the lines of codes looks right now for the receipt so let's give it a run and see how it's gonna work so right there I'm gonna enter the following Says Paul Parker. Number of rooms, let's say, it's going for four within London. There we go. Address of Parker. Let's say, Hill Top Close. And there. Forty-five to you, and town happens to be London. Proof of ID is a pilot down payment. And click on cost. There we go, guys. All right. So here, I think we need to do something about here. So let's go in there and add new line. So that's a customer. So let's come in here. It's a new line. Double click on that. And there. Oh, okay. There should be new line here. All right. Okay. So copy that. And paste that right in there. Yeah, we need to do the same thing for this new line and there so let's run it again and see say run enter customer details name happens to be Helen Helen school four bedroom flat Lagos address three town postcode town is Lagos yeah proof of ID let's say passport down payment that out there we go guys so without now i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it so you all have a nice day now bye for now